Hello, hello, I'm Philip Magnus and I'm back with more of Dishonored. Yes, I'm still playing that, don't ask about it. Anyway, last time, as far as I remember, I could not find that rune. Perhaps I will have more success looking from the inside out rather than the inside in. We'll see, we'll see. It would be nice if I were to find to find it, since, you know, collectibles and all. Precious, darling, and very important, let's not forget. Ah, someone is suspicious. Not to worry. We shall end you soon enough. Too late, unfortunately. <laughs> I do enjoy this game of murderer killing murderers. It's also very Shakespearean. Oh. You boys seem to have something. Ah, unfortunately, you did not manage to move as unseen as it would have, well, suited you and forced me to mind my manners and not kill you. Happens to the best of us, though. You'll learn, my boy. Actually, no, you won't, because you are very dead. Oh. I do believe there is a secret or a multiple pathway somewhere around. No, none of that. Right. Nope. I probably should use my dark vision. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Safety is best when you're at rest. Oh. I do not know why I hit him like that. I was just only meant to assassinate him. In the normal stabby stabby neck neck way. Why am I calling it that? Anyway, let's move along. I didn't think it could. I always thought one of you, the strongest of you, might kill me. But not a stranger. A man not trained in our methods. But perhaps he will. Remain on watch and kill him if you can. Maybe you'll surprise us both. <laughs> Ooh, he actually managed to notice me. Huh. Funny. So well, lost not well enough. Ruined at last. Lord Regent. Royal Spy Master. Tyler Burroughs. You small, worried man. You'll never know how many times I've thought about trying to get close to you again. Just to put a piece of sharp metal in your eye. Ah, Dodd, it's so much fun stalking you. Is this how you protected the Empress? No, not quite. Do you think you can hide from a hunter of men? Well, yes. Yes, I do. I'm pretty good at this I know your footsteps, Corvo. Hiding business. You could put a sleep dart in your mouth. Shall I? Should I? I wonder what would happen, or perhaps close and personal, as he did with the Empress. <laughs> Sweet dreams, little assassin. OK. 
come now. What? All out of bloody hell. Fine, we'll be messy then. I wonder if you can survive this. Oh. See how you fare against my assassin. Oh my. Whoa. A nice one, mate. And now we fight the duel that no two others could fight against the ticking clock. I've this. Let's see if the outsider will save your life or mine. Hmm, I think it's mine. Why are you fighting? For the men who poisoned you to die. <laughs> this, dead Empress. this is wonderful fun. Oh, strike as if you mean it. You know I Come out, come out. Greetings, boys. That was annoying. Thank you, whoever you were, to have helped me. Ah, bullet it is. Whoa. Ha. Huh. I do believe my bullet got you first. Ah, Dort. You never stood a chance. I could have snuck up behind you and killed you. I preferred to do it while watching you in the face. Killed all your men as well. Empress Jessamine Coldwin. Hmm. I have read this one. Hmm. I... Oh! Have I read this one? Let's see. Before Slugjaw ran the streets in the distillery district, there was no boss more ruthless, violent, or dedicated to squeezing the average citizens for coin than Black Sally. Like so many from Morley, she was pale-skinned and green-eyed, with hair as black as the void. They say that she started young, and as a girl she'd stun a man with her looks, coming upon him in an alley, then smile a one-sided smile and suddenly run him through with a knife. She'd have his money and be on her way before he breathed his final breath. As a boss, she was worse, brooding over the meanest street gang Dunwall had seen up to that time. Her operation touched everything from shipping to prostitution. She even had a racket going with the Baker's Guild. A finger in every pie, indeed. One man, Watch Captain Jules Strobin, made it his mission to stop her, and kept the case going for half a decade. Black Sally met her end when Robin had his men light smoke fires in barrels, near the warehouse where she hid out during the day. As she and her gang rushed into the streets, terrified the building was burning, Captain Robin and his top officers threw nets over them and ran them all through with blade and pistol shot. Well, that is quite entertaining. Let us see then. Anything else? No, I suppose not. Oh, Dord is. Hello, Dord. I have one more surprise for you. I asked for my life when I killed your Empress and took her daughter. Something broke inside me. Now I see the design on the back of your hand. The mark of the outsider himself. And I remember all I've done. The years of waiting for the right moment to step forward from an alley and drive a knife between the ribs of some noble. All the money exchanging hands from one rich bastard or another. Killing for one of them one year, then being paid to kill him in return the next. I remember bending at the shrines, listening as the outsider whispered that I was going to change things, that I was somehow important. It felt good. It made me believe I was powerful. But what have I accomplished? More than you have, or much less. 
Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing, so my life is in your hands. Make your choice. All right, I'll let you live. And you choose mercy. Extraordinary. Indeed. That was fascinating. I will be completely honest, I did... I had no idea that I could speak with Dort. I actually, the first and only time I played through this, I just went behind him and I put him to sleep. So I never had this conversation. Which is... I won't lie. Absolutely freaking awesome. I'm so happy. So, so happy to have witnessed this. Oh, I think I'm going to go search for that room now. Oh, I don't believe I'm close. Please tell me there's nothing awful and creepy around. <laughs> it's dishonored, of course there is. But hey, let's loot the coinage. Since I have almost nothing left to do. Okay, so I still can't find the bloody way to this room. Nope, nothing, nada, nuh -uh. I can't find it and honestly I cannot be bothered. Sorry, Rune. Oh, damn it, I should have used the hardened Dord. I'm betting that she would have told me that she could recognize her murderer or whatnot. Maybe if I use it on his, like, study? They bring the bodies here. No. Huh! Some of them I like this. That's a lot of assassination targets. Is that Granny Rags? Who would hire him to assassinate Granny Rags? A lovely, nice old woman! These waters are greedy. Yeah. She's not. <laughs> Let's enter the tunnels then, shall we? What? I don't even know where the bloody tunnels are, apparently. Perhaps if I exit this way... I shall find them soon enough. Did I completely screw up just now? I probably did. Bloody hell, I'm so bad at following maps. If you have an assignment that requires that you travel to Russia or Gate, see me, I hold the key. Alright, you do. Oh! Oh. Obvious much. And hey, that's also where I will find the bloody rune. There it is. All this... Seeking of runes and I... I ignore the obvious. Funny way to live my life, I agree. How many runes do I have? I have eight runes. Huh, that's a lot. Shall I stop time? Probably. Should I stop time? Probably not, it could screw up the space-time continuum, but hey, you know what, I don't care. Alright. I do believe I have missed no major runes as of this point. Let's see what awaits in the tunnel.
Hey, oi! What's up with the extra creepy music, mate? Yeah, of course, there's gonna be a room there. Oh, lovely! Run along, you little rat. I'd call him brats, but really, no need for name calling. Alright, so this is a ways off, isn't it? Honestly, I don't think there's anything living around here. Oh. You lads are so naive. They did. They protect the healthy people from people like us. The sick ones. I'm not uh, that bad. Some people pull through, right? <coughs> oh. Don't they? One in a thousand. Ten I honestly don't think probably. there is anything I can do to help you lads. Sorry about that. Oh, let's see. How can I get... There. Nope. That did not work. Hey, that did. Great. Great job, me. Uh oh. Let me guess. Filled with drowners and whatever their name is. Of course, there's not going to be a proper good path this way, so I will have to find another way. Yay! All of this looks very apocalyptic. Not all. Interested in joining the sick and diseased fellows? This here painting will not bring me a pity penny. What a what a pity. Maybe this way? Yeah. Seems to be my only option currently. Oh, there we go. Good, good, excellent! That's how you do it! The outsider walks among us. That's a very astute observation, I will admit. Let's see, where was that pretty little rune of mine? What's in this house anyway? Shall we explore? Dead men, probably. Plenty of them, uh, if I had to guess. Alright, alright. And I got it. Might as well leave now, I think. I'm going to save the game, just in case the fall kills me, which it shouldn't, because there's water below. And I teleported right above the burial mount. <laughs> My bad. See, that's why I saved. Let's see that. Maybe a more... gradual fall will do the trick for me. 
See? Far easier and less dead. <laughs> Let us see now what should I kill these two? They're basically hell hazards at this point. Oh, fine, I won't. Talk about my better angels, why don't you? Are you two guys going to try and fight me? Oh, mission clues! The plague wagon returns to the fleeted district every few minutes, as I have already seen. Oh. That's because you've got bandits. Those two. Hey. Oi! What the? Gonna steal from you. Gonna steal from you too. Okay, so I need to get somewhere and jump to the wagon. Or, you know. Just pass the barrier in some other way. Yeah, I'm gonna take the wagon. I actually probably could go back to that building and jump from there, straight in the wagon, or at least teleport, right? Seems intuitive enough, I suppose. I should probably not do that. I mean, there is electricity running along the tracks. I could get to higher ground without getting back in that horrible, murdery building. Come on, wagon. So how have you guys been? Been good? Feel like leaving a comment? No? No. That's fair, that's fair. Haven't we worked together? Mm, no, don't think we have. But... Nice of you to ask. Make conversations. It's great. A great skill that not many have nowadays. Seriously, where's the bloody train? Done got all day. Got people to kill. Daughters to save. Don't think I will be able to make it from here. Mm. Not as I had hoped, but hey, no what? I'm going to get back to my latest save. How did it pass me by? Although I don't All the others, so dominant. The live ones crawling up out of the canal every ten minutes. Fine, fine, fine. Ouch! Unnecessary damage, I know. Let's get back to this here building and try and get the Orient dead express. Ha! <laughs> that, that was such an awful attempt at making a joke. See? Easy. Should have done that in the first place. Now hopefully I will not die horribly. Although, I should probably save again, just in case. Whoop dee 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 da, whoop dee dee dee. I'm probably missing all kinds of goodies. Yeah. I thought that might have happened. But that's okay. 
I can still use it to a point. I must admit, I have forgotten most of this level. Oh, 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 oh. I think I know what I'm... Damn it. Damn it! <laughs> uh, I need to learn to be a better shot, I suppose.